Hi and welcome, this is Tech Enthusiast and today we will go through some changes in Linux distribution called Solus version 4.3 Budgie Edition. And with all that being said, let's take a look. Solus team actually released a brand new Solus version 4.3 and let me show you guys that this is the latest version that I'm currently on. So this is the Solus 4.3 Fortitude um, running on my i7-770K CPU, 4.2 GHz. Uh, this version is also the latest one and I'm also running uh, on the Baji version, which also includes Genome version 40.2.0. So if we go right here now on the, the website, on their website, which uh, can, we can see their uh, changelog, uh, that they released on the July 11th in 2021, they released Solus 4.3 uh, version. So in general, uh, they uh, 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 updated some applications. For example, Firefox is now on the 80.9.0.2 uh, version. LibreOffice is a 7.1.4.2. Thunderbird is on 78.11.0 version. And for the audio and video multimedia playback, they offer software out of the box that caters specifically to their desired experience for each edition. So for example, for the Budgie and Genome and Mate editions, they all ship with Rhythmbox for audio playback with the latest release of the alternative toolbar extension so they can provide a more uh, modern user experience. And for the Budgie and Genome, they ship with Genome MVP for video playback for the Mate, they ship with VLC for video playback and Plasma ships with Elisa for audio playback and SM Player for video playback. So I can show you, I'm currently, as I said previously, that I'm running on the Budgie version of uh, uh, Solos operating system. So as you can see, this is the their uh, latest version of the uh, audio playback, a uh, rhythm box version 3.4.4. And I think this is quite nice. So if, if we go to the more, um, some um, uh, other uh, updates uh, in this uh, version of release. So for multimedia upgrades, they released with FFmpeg 4.4, which enable uh, AV1, VAAP1 decoders, AV1 monochrome encoding support, VDPL accelerated HFC 10 and 12 bit and VP9 10 and 12 bit decoding. So uh, this is quite a uh, unique in my personal opinion and uh, uh, Solos 4.3 they also ship version 0.9.0 of the DAV1 DAV1 decoder and they this uh, should provide a larger boost to high bit depth encoding AVX2 supported CPUs and they also uh, ship with uh, Pulse Audio 14.2 which fixes a bug related to unplug event uh, uh, handling. So uh, for the quality uh, of life improvements, there are also some uh, specific changes for uh, all these other uh, versions of the Solus uh, Linux distribution. Um, but I think I pointed uh, out the most important uh, changes of the multimedia upgrades, some hardware and, carbon, uh, and kernel enabling. For example, they uh, added support for AMD Radeon RX 7700 XT. 7800 uh, and 6800 XT and 6900 XT cards. So this is uh, quite nice. To, so they can get also uh, this support for the official support for these graphics cards. And they also added AMD resizable bar for support. I think this is quite nice as well, as we know that uh, Windows supports this. And also a bit, I think that Pop OS and uh, in RIA, the AV, RD9, 2 GPUs, and Zen 3, of course. They also uh, improved a support for various game titles, such as Cyberpunk 2077, Dota 2, Dirt 5, Elite Dangerous, Odyssey, Halo, The Master Chief Collection, and Path of Exile. So if I minimize this window right now, we will go through some settings right here uh, that I think that changed and that didn't change so much. So for the network, I think this is the same. It looks like the same, it didn't change much. For the Bluetooth as well, this isn't, uh, it, it is the same as well. Wallpapers, I think these all wallpapers are the same as well. So for notifications, for example, right here, uh, we have all these lock screen notifications and do not disturb. So also we will go through some customization settings uh, uh, later in this video. So we have searched all these files, applications, uh, uh, so for uh, applications and we 
can enable some notifications for these specific applications right here on the left side. Um, we have also privacy features. So for the camera, microphone, Thunderbolt, file history and trash and screen lock as well. Um, online accounts, for example, we have, can add some online accounts just like in Windows uh, 10 or 11. Um, if we go to the sharing, I think this is the, the same as before. The sound, I think this is the same as well. So as you can see, we, we are currently recording this video. So the power of blank screen, five minutes, automatic suspend is on and uh, display is also the same. So if we go to the, let's say for about section, as I said, we are running uh, on Solos, the latest version 4.342, 64 bits. So for example, we will go through uh, some customization settings right now. So body desktop setting right here, we have some widgets. Uh, which can we which we can enable or let's say uh, change the color of them uh, then also the icons and the cursors let's say if we want to I don't know what what is happening right now but uh, we can change this to the Advieta uh, uh, cursor I think this is looks like Mac OS one but we I will change it back to the breeze cursor we have also notification position let's say for the bottom left we have all these notifications right here. So I think it, if we change the setting, it will show pop up right here on the bottom left, uh, brand new notifications. So I will put it on the bottom right for uh, for my personal preference. So we also have dark theme enabled right now and animation as well. For the desktop, we can disable all the desktop icons. Uh, as you can see, the, all the icons uh, are disabled right now. We have also icon size and number of virtual desktops. So fonts, we can change all these fonts. Uh, as you can see for window titles, we are currently using Clear Sans Bold and Raven, Raven position. I think this is the for the calendar. Uh, as you can see, this is the calendar here on the right. And it's set to automatics. For the windows, uh, I think this is all the same settings as before. And for the bottom panel, panel or for this one, for the, our taskbar settings, we can change some settings right here. So for example, we can change it position to the top. As you can see, the position of the taskbar change at the top. We can put it on the left as well as to the right. For my personal liking, I will put it on the bottom for, uh, for the time being. So for the size, we have a 45 and I, we can uh, make it even smaller or let's say uh, even bigger. For my liking, uh, let's say 45 is good enough. So we have also automatically hide. We can uh, automatically hide so for example if we have an app open the, um, the, the taskbar will hide automatically and for it intelligent I think that if we open the app the, the the taskbar will hide and if we minimize the it will open again so I will put it to uh, never for now and also we have transparency right here uh, always dynamic uh, I think we can uh, put it to always and, and as you can see this um, taskbar is uh, now uh, transparent and if we go to the dyna dynamic uh, if I open the uh, Firefox right here as you can see the taskbar color also changed with the opening of the uh, Firefox now I will put it to the none and we also have this shadow let me show you with the, the transparency right now so the shadow right here uh, if I disable the settings as you can see uh, the taskbar experience is more seamless in my personal uh, opinion on the desktop mode so I will put the shadow uh, on for now. Style religions, uh, I think this is all fine. And dock mode. So the dock mode, I think this looks uh, like Windows 11 right now. Uh, let me show you with the transparency with uh, none. So I think this looks quite uh, like Windows 11, everything centered um, and it looks uh, quite nice. But in my personal opinion, I will disable this dock mode. So. Yeah, we also have these auto start applications right here. I think this is, uh, we can en enable these settings so we can, let's say if we log in or power uh, on the, the device, some uh, apps will auto start. For example, if we want to open Firefox on boot, uh, let's say the Google will show up on Firefox browser immediately when uh, starting the system. So I think that's it. And with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. 
and like this video so I can get recommended on YouTube because apparently YouTube algorithm is refusing to push out my videos to wider audience. And with all that being said, I see you all in the next one. Peace.